WC15 Live Desk. Live Desk. Six o'clock and happening right now. One person is dead. At least two people are on the run at this moment in Tempe. I want to get right out to ABC15's Justin Bezerra. The main cross streets here off of Roosevelt. Justin are going to be Mellon University. What do you have? Yeah, Chris, uh, right now police are waiting for the sun to come up. You can see it's still dark out here. They need to re canvas this the area. Uh, let's get straight to the video, though. At one point, police were walking shoulder to shoulder, uh, going through this neighborhood with their flashlights looking for evidence. But again, they got to wait for the sun to come up so they can look again. They're also waiting to get a search warrant uh, on this house so they can go in there and hopefully get some more clues into what led up to this. We do know that one man uh, was shot, two people on the run right now. They do believe that this is an isolated incident though they do not believe that the community is in the, is in any danger but again they got to try to figure out who those two guys are we're live in Tempe Justin Pizarra ABC 15 time now for your most accurate forecast and it is all about the heat today unseasonably warm temperatures as we warm into the low 80s by or 90s rather by lunchtime right now sitting at 74 today's high in the upper 90s a high of 99 degrees back into the upper 80 excuse me, back in the upper 90s by 5 o'clock here this evening. It's going to be a hot day. We'll talk about how much longer these record temperatures last in just minutes. And Iris, we are seeing a little slowing on US 60 right now because we had a crash that was close to I-10 blocking the left lane. They just cleared that crash over to the side. But this is look at Mill Avenue. So from Mill to you hit the 10, you are going to see a little bit of heavy congestion and some brake lights there. The rest of the Valley Bill, let's give you a look at the big picture right now. Besides that, you are seeing delays on the 10 and I-17 right now. I'm going to map out exactly those hot spots in your desert drive times in just a few minutes. Okay, Mallory, boy, this was something else. Talk about a wild pursuit happening in the East Valley. You saw it all unfolded on the ABC 15 mobile app. There's the car. Let me show you a map to explain this, where it started, where it ended. Look at the screen here. This was certainly no straight line. There's the video on the right. The armed man with felony warrants leading police from Phoenix to Tempe Town Lake, then to Chandler Fashion Mall, and at one point went through the drive through there at In-N-Out Burger. Can you believe that? Yeah, one of animal style. Well, it all ended in Ahwatukee. The shirtless man pulled out of a backyard right across from Monta Vista Elementary School off of Chandler Boulevard. We're still waiting on an update exactly of who he is and what charges he's now facing. Dan? Well, it is being called the battleground blitz. Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, doing everything they can to get your vote before November the 8th. Yeah, they are crisscrossing critical states. This afternoon, Clinton will bring in a major heavy hitter and campaign with First Lady Michelle Obama. The pair will be at a rally in North Carolina. For Trump, he is spending his entire day in Ohio, where he's attending three rallies all across that state. Well, who is actually ahead? It depends on which poll you look at. Uh, many, including ABC News, show Clinton leading Trump anywhere from three to nine points except in the critical state of Florida. The GOP nominee ahead in that state. Now CNN stats show more than 7 million Americans have already voted. Democrats have gained ground in Arizona, Nevada, and North Carolina. Trump is doing better in Iowa and again in the Sunshine State. CNN analysts also reporting two-thirds of voters here in Arizona cast their ballot before Election Day. And now to an ABC News exclusive. For the first time, the entire Trump family is sitting down for an interview with Good Morning America. ABC 15 Katie Connor. She's live with more from ASU. And Katie, this interview comes on a big day for Republicans here in our state. That's right. In just a few hours, Danielle Donald Trump Jr. will land right here in Arizona. Then he's going to head over to ASU. Well, here we here, boy, front and center on a stage here talking to students. The Trump campaign hoping to make a strong final push for votes. But before he actually hits the stage this afternoon, Good Morning America has this exclusive sit-down interview with the entire Trump family. Take a listen. Going back to, to last year, is there anything you regret? Oh, absolutely. I'd love to have done certain things over, but you can't. You can't. But that's true in life. I'd love to have, have done in life certain things over, I guess. And you would have too. And you can hear that entire exclusive interview on Good Morning America. And coming up at 6.30, Danielle, we're going to break down what you need to know if you want to come out here to ASU to see Donald Trump Jr. speak. Danielle? All right. We'll come back to you in just a few minutes. Katie, thank you for that update. Now to a story that we broke at the ABC 15 Live Desk. The hunt is on for the man who did this.
So that is Donald Trump's star, obviously damaged on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. The Chamber of Commerce now promising to make repairs, but they say it's going to take days. Detectives found that guy's hammer, hat, and vest, but they still haven't found him. Uh, there is one guy, though, claiming responsibility. Police have yet to say, though, if he's actually their prime suspect, Chris. Danielle, back here closer to home, I want to take you to Prescott Valley, where investigators are on the scene of a home there that was used for sex trafficking, a sex trafficking ring for as long as a year. Eight women women were rescued from the forced prostitution, one of the victims only 17 years old. We are working right now to learn more about the three people arrested. Dan, I'm hoping for an update. When I get that coming out of Prescott Valley, we'll let you know. All right, Chris, big changes at a state agency. The DES director can no longer fire employees without approval. Governor Doug Ducey's office has added extra oversight to the Department of Economic Security. The Arizona Republic reporting that DES has fired 475 people since early last year. One of them was pregnant at the time. She says she didn't deserve it. You went from interviewing people for public benefits to now you are on public benefits because of this? Correct. I'm on WIC and unfortunately food stamps and access health insurance. We are waiting right now to hear back from DES for a comment. To Casa Grande now, investigators trying to figure out what caused a fire on top of the new hospital there, a wing of that hospital under construction. That black smoke you see apparently from roofing materials. The fire quickly put out. No word on the cost of the damage, but that wing will be used to provide more services for women and infants once it's complete. So taking something that isn't yours is bad, right? But doing it right in front of your young kids, that's a whole nother low. Oscar Ruiz is accused of theft but court documents reveal he stole nearly $400 worth of stuff from a Phoenix Target near Thomas and 75th Avenue. We're told the youngest child with him was just seven months old. By the way, Ruiz is now out of jail. Pretty bizarre mugshot, an even stranger story behind this one. Richard Pulaski from Kingman admits to stabbing his friend to death and then burying him in his backyard. The 63-year-old pled guilty to a reduced charge of second-degree murder and the death of John Holland. If the judge accepts the plea, Pulaski will face up to 18 years in prison. Six minutes after the hour now and two brothers wanted for murder in Massachusetts turn up right here in our state and federal authorities now have them in custody. They were spotted early Earlier in the week near a bus station and Flagstaff, the brothers accused in a deadly shooting outside of a bar in Amherst. U.S. Marshals say the victim had laughed at one of them. And that's what led to the killing. A futuristic twist on keeping you safe is now hitting another Valley Police Department, what they call predictive policing. Instead of just mapping crime, it is preventing crime by trying to foresee where and when criminals will strike. Mesa Police about to start using the PredPol program. It is a different one than the one that we covered in Peoria. Kind of the same idea, though, putting more police in the hot spots as kind of a preemptive move, Danielle. Another Phoenix mainstay is getting a makeover. The Arizona Center is next up for a $25 million facelift. That makeover will include updating the colors of the complex, adding retail space and valley parking. It could also include a hotel, some new education buildings, and office space. Renovations are set to start next year. We just got some new video in from overnight. Take a look at the snow in Buffalo. Yeah, it's the city's first real true snowfall of the season, and it came a few days later than average. But, you know, while Buffalo's dealing with cold temps, it's the opposite here in Arizona. Iris, growing up here, I feel like Halloween was always kind of the indicator, but we could be flirting with triple digits. Hey, we are flirting with triple digits today. There will be a drop come Halloween, but we've got to get through these hot, record-breaking temperatures first. Now, this morning, starting out in the 70s, across the valley a little milder already this morning than even yesterday we're only going to stay in the 70s here through that nine o'clock hour before the 80s are back and the 90s will actually move in sooner than the last few days by lunchtime we're already at 93 degrees today's high temperature 99 degrees that's one degree shy of that triple digit mark and that's also a record-breaking temperature that puts us well above that 30 year average of 84 we're talking 15 degrees above average so my forecast, 99 degrees. The record on this date is 98 degrees. It does look to be a record-breaking day today. But over the next couple of days, we've got some changes that are coming. Now, it looks like we're going to hold off from those hundreds. But if we do hit 100 degrees, that'll be a record in itself. Because right now, the latest triple-digit day ever recorded in Phoenix, October 23rd. So we'll be watching that temperature closely. But I'll show you that drop coming by Halloween in your seven-day forecast, Mallory.
ABC 15 Desert Drive Time, brought to you by CenturyLink Prism. Well, we have another new crash, and this one is for North Valley drivers. It's on Loop 101, now westbound right near 7th Avenue. It was blocking the right lane. It's hard to see here because this is really zoomed in. Was blocking the right lane. Looks like they've now moved it to the side, but I'm actually seeing more congestion in the eastbound direction with some of that curiosity factor. So look up for some delays there in the North Valley. Besides that, you definitely are going to start to slow down on I-17 right now. You're looking at about a 20-minute desert drive time. It's good until you hit about northern, and that's really where it slows down. That takes you from the 101 until you hit the I-10 stack. And then as far as the 10 goes, you're seeing delays basically between about 83rd Avenue until you hit the Deck Park Tunnel. But we'll give you a closer look at those desert drive times and that crash on the 60 in just a couple minutes, Chris. Mallory, from the live desk, people are flying the coop at Twitter, but it's not their decision. Twitter just announcing it's laying off 9% of its workforce. That's about 350 people. The cuts are in marketing and sales. They're doing it to cut costs due to lackluster earnings. Quarterly revenue, by the way, it slowed to 8% last month. That's down from 20% a year ago. And the thing is, they didn't even tweet out the news release on this. Meanwhile, new video just in showing the aftermath of the destructive airstrike. The death toll is climbing. And most of the victims we've learned this morning are children. And hundreds of people are going to be lined up inside of these fences here to get their scare on at the 13th floor. But you do need to know some safety tips before you head out. We'll let you know what they are coming up. You've heard of Sharknado. How about Carnado? Yes, a major traffic alert you need to know about if you're headed to Sin City anytime soon.